Friends, hello everyone, my name is Pavel Filipov, and today I want to announce to you the extension of the Thank You promotion. You know that the Thank You promotion is a promotion in which every investor can find attractive conditions for investment. This promotion is really suitable for everyone. And the main purpose of this promotion is to attract additional funding to perform a number of works before the onset of the cold season. Because some work can be done only now, while it's warm. It was decided to attract additional funding. The amount announced as part of this promotion, which we planned to attract, is $4 million. We immediately said that either we will finish the promotion when the promotion expires, that is, the 15th of August, or at the time of collecting all the necessary funds. Now one of the conditions is actually happening. The 15th of August has come, the validity period of the promotion has come to an end, but at the same time you can see for yourself the pace of attracting investments as part of this promotion. Now the project receives more than two times more money than in normal months. This means that the promotion was really a great success. A large number of people liked it. People took advantage of it. On the other hand, the promotion achieved a number of goals that it had in front of it. Because thanks to this additional financing, work was carried out at an accelerated pace on the construction site. That made us closer to our goals in completing the construction of Sovelmash. Seeing such a great interest in the promotion, seeing that a large number of people are asking to extend it, and realizing, on the other hand, that we still have time, because winter is in a few months, we decided to extend this promotion. This will allow us to attract the entire amount that we originally planned to attract. This promotion will be extended until September the 15th inclusive. And already on September the 16th we will have a conference in Moscow, where we will all sum up the results of this promotion. At the same time, we can sum up the interim results now. To do this, I would like to give the floor to Alexander Sudarev, who prepared a report for you. In this report, he will tell you what works were carried out thanks to the funds that came under this promotion and what is planned to be done in the near future, thanks to the increased inflow of investments as part of this promotion. Let's take a look. And now broadcast from the Solomash site, what is going on here? Over the past month, a fairly large amount of work has been done. We can observe both asphalt and curbstone that was previously installed here. Now at the current moment, the installation of curbstone continues along the perimeter of the entire road. It is no longer temporary, but it is the road that will be permanent. We also observe that on this formed platform construction materials are already being put together, which already are used for work from the wells in order to install engineering networks inside the building. So let's do it the following way. Let's go around the perimeter and see what work has been done and what we still have to do. Here we can see that the temporary fence was completely dismantled. Utilities were also laid for the installation of lighting poles. We can also observe that in that part all utilities that will supply electricity to our building have been laid. And all this has already been brought underground to our transformer crop, to our four transformers. There is still quite a lot of work to be done here. We will need to fill in additional layers of asphalt. So far only the first layer has been filled in. All manholes, storm drains, etc. should go to the zero mark level with the last layer of asphalt. We can see that quite a large amount of soil is piled on the side. All this ground will have to be removed, backfilled and restore vegetation, lawns, and generally landscaping will have to be done. 
Here we can observe that manholes are not covered with a final layer of asphalt. Now you can see that the guys are installing the curbstone. They are doing it fast enough. And you need to be in time now, so that when the trucks with asphalt come the other day, you can continue laying it. At the same time, we are still working on asphalt. It should be noted that since our last broadcast on the channel, we have already had asphalt being laid in this part as well. Now, if the cameraman and I turn around, look, this way, this whole road will have to be rolled up with asphalt. Now, we have reached this mark. We are steady here. We are making curbstone and the remnants of the temporary road slabs are being cut off at the entrance group. A special slope is being made, two textiles, crushed stone are also being laid, everything according to the worked out scheme. This will allow us to get to the right level for laying the right amount of asphalt. Here, quite recently, before the promotion held by Solar Group, we saw that everything was dug up. Now there is asphalt there. Utilities are brought in the building. There are four of our transformers here. From this side, you can see the utilities that will also be brought in. All this has to be refined. So, in fact, I see there is a lot of work and, of course, funds are needed for everything. Cameraman, be careful, there is a hatch there. Let's move to another part of the building and continue there. The main entrance to the building, a kind of platform was formed here as well. Before the activity we are speaking about today, there was ground here. Now a huge pit has been dug. Backfilling was carried out with sand, crushed stone, on which we are now standing. Here the territory is already ready for the acceptance of asphalt. While the necessary utilities are also installed here. These are storm utilities and hatches for installing telemetry. That is, all this has been done. And this, in turn, will allow us to roll up the entire territory in order to get a well-maintained look, a refined look, and move on to the next works. At the same time, this road marks just the fact that we have made great progress in working with external engineering networks. External ones. We have already finished most of them. There are very few left. At the same time, it is worth noting that along this road all construction equipment, all trucks, will be able to freely access all sections of the site and also continue a number of works. Let's go further. Here we go out to this place. There are still areas where work will need to be carried out with engineering networks. There is a temporary pipe warehouse for water supply or storm water as well. We also see that the geotextile is being laid. All this will be put to zero and all these hatches will be covered with asphalt. By the way, there will be a parking lot on this side. And I would like to note another thing. Heating pane. First of all, we see that the temporary fence has been partially dismantled. It will not go back to its place. A permanent fence will be built here. We are currently working on ordering it. There was a heating main line here. It was going to thermal point, which is already connected. Backfilling was carried out here, where it was necessary a special vegetation layer of the earth was filled in, in order to restore green areas. If we go further, we will see that it remains to cover a very small layer of the heating main section. Waterproofing is being completed on it. There is very little left. 
This part will be finished in the next few days. Now we will need to dig another trench in order to lay cold water pipes and bring them into the building. On the other side, the pipes have already been completed and brought to the fire safety area. We are going to go inside now and see what's going on there. And here we have to dig a large pit of 6 meters in depth in order to drive a special car there, a special drilling machine, in order to carry out a puncture to connect the entire stormwater communication system to wells outside not only our construction site, but also on the other side of the road. This work is still to be done, and with this, we work with external engineering networks, except for electricity lines and lighting poles, and video cameras will be fully completed. And now, let's move into the building and see what's going on there. Now we have entered the administrative and utility building, we can see that the dispatching room is being prepared here for finishing. All necessary communications have already been established. The internet is coming from them right now. And let's say a number of internal surveillance cameras are also installed. The tiles have already been laid here. They are covered with panels, so as not to be damaged. The walls are being prepared for painting and, in general, the entire ground floor of the administrative and utility building is being prepared for painting. Somewhere it will be painting, somewhere special decorative plates will be installed. All this is at the final stage. These works are advanced. Advanced payment has been received. They are quite expensive. So the receipt of funds for further work it is necessary. Also we are working along the final floor's credit. It has already been completed. By the way, this is the room of the hotel complex for engineers who will visit us. And all these works are already in full swing. It should be also noted that in addition to work on the ground floor in the administrative and utility building, work is underway on the first and second floors. There are already communications laid everywhere for the installation of heating systems, radiators and distribution nodes. And all the electrics have already been laid. Preparations are also underway for painting and screed flooring. Well, now we have entered our central gallery of the production line. What has changed here? Firstly, ventilation boxes were delivered. This means that the ventilation systems will be installed in the near future. Under the ceiling, you can see the bounded pipes for the fire extinguishing system. This is an automatic system, and most of the parts are already in their rightful places. By the way, this piece there is needed for the installation of the system under the ceiling. Next, we will now go into the premises of our production line. Here we see Alexei, who is working. We see that the finishing of the staircase wall is being carried out. It has already been plastered. Party has been put on it. Today the guys have grazed some places and soon it will be painted. We can also observe that equipment has been purchased. We showed it to you. A machine for folding. I'm sorry, no, it's not for that. It's a machine for groove insulation for motors. Evgeny Duyunov is commissioning on the production line. We will not disturb them. Now we are moving into a room that borders our testing laboratory. And now we are getting into the pumping fire extinguishing unit. Be careful here. 
let's swap places. Here we see a pumping rope, and the entire fire extinguishing system will be powered here. A system for a system. These are our pumps that will make water circulate in all our pipes, and in the event of a fire, everything will be successfully stopped, and the fire will be stopped. That's where we have a pit, where the cold water inlet is carried out, and from this area it will be connected by pipes of our entire system. It will circulate in the system. The system is quite expensive. There are a huge number of requirements for it that are imposed by the supervisory authorities, but nevertheless, we are now in the process of installing it. Let's move on. Here we are at the laser site. It is located in an open gallery. Alexei, who is working with that, is there. There are already three lasers, right? Right, three lasers. And are there any plans to install additional lasers? Additionally, less powerful open tap laser equipment for cutting plates for the state and router. Thank you. We will not disturb Alexei. Let's move on. You should understand that in addition to working with engineering networks, construction and finishing works, we need to be equipped with the right amount of equipment. And this also requires investments. We can also observe the purchased construction materials. This is for laying tiles. Tiles were also purchased. These are tiles for staircases and for the administrative and utility building. Two types of tiles. Somewhere it's ceramic granite, somewhere there are panels. All this is slowly beginning to take shape. Work is also continuing on the formation of the foundry site. There are quite a lot of them. We'll talk about this in more detail in the following videos, because this one turns out to be quite long. After all, we're limited by time. And I can't help but mention the work with utility networks and this individual heat point. Welding is taking place now. The guys are forming all the connections. Then automation will start. Channels and pipes have already been installed in the walls, so we will not disturb the guys. You can see for yourself a large number of employees who are involved in all these works, and everything is quite serious. Compensators are welded right here, pipes are connected, additional calculations are carried out. What is written in the project documentation is combined with harsh realities when one matches the other. Adjustments are made in places and at the output we will get a ready-made product that can be taken and multiplied. And again, do not forget that this whole building is being built for the first time in its life in the world by builders, and previously such projects did not exist. This is a unique construction object, which in the future will allow us to do the things that we mentioned when creating this Solomash project. This is where I have said everything. In terms of what has been done and what needs to be done, you can see for yourself that there is really a lot of work. The fact that we have not yet left the ground, we still have to work on equipment, on finishing, we will definitely need to do the second floor, floors, tiles and everything else. So I think we need to understand that the higher the rate of investment, the faster we will be able to approach the time of delivery of the project to the State Commission. I would also like to comment that in our past videos we gave a darker picture, more excavation work, you know, more ground work, something that cannot be called the finish line. Now we see that most of these works have already been completed, and there is very little time left for us to enter the winter with our own heating, with our own communications and electricity supply, but there is not much time left. 
осталось совсем немного на самом деле. Но и времени осталось. Therefore, I hope that everything will turn out favorably. The Solo Mush team and the Solo Group team. In general, everyone involved in the development of this project were all trying to make sure that we enter the winter as prepared as possible and reduce the deadlines for the completion of the facility as much as possible. Thank you for your attention and see you soon. Well, friends, you can see for yourself that the promotion has greatly helped the ongoing construction work. It accelerated the construction work, and all this was done thanks to you, thanks to your support, which is why this promotion is called Thank You. Because this promotion is beneficial for everyone, you as investors, because you can increase your investment on the most favorable terms or make it for the first time. For beginners too, there are favorable conditions, which are excellent. On the other hand, it helps the project to accelerate the pace of construction and complete all the work planned for the warm season on time. You can read the detailed terms of the promotion on a special page in your back office. There you can see the offers that are right for you. Also, the offers that suit you specifically are located on the main page of your back office. I recommend that you familiarize yourself with all the favorable conditions, because perhaps some of the conditions do not suit you personally, but perhaps it will suit someone of your friends who does not follow the news as actively as you do. But you will be able to inform them about the opportunities that are now in the project. Friends, support the project at the current final stage. Now you have the best opportunity to invest profitably in the project before the construction work is completed, which will happen very soon, and before the financing of the Do Enough Modus project is completed. Study the conditions in your back office, keep track of the counter that shows how much money comes in as part of the promotion and invest together with Solo Group. Bye everyone!